Welcome to this new lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to change the color of things in your footage. This is sort of a more advanced or specific example lesson of the using the HSL secondary panel. So if you feel like you've got it covered, go ahead and skip this lesson. I've also included a new clip uh, that I'll be using. It will be in your video files, the 4K color correction example. So go ahead and drag that down onto your timeline and scale it down to 50, okay? So up in the effect controls. You can also right click, let me undo that, and you can right click and choose set to frame size and that will scale it down exactly to our frame size. So did you guys catch which one is real, which one's fake? Well, they're actually both edited. So in this version, the car, and in this version, the little water table. These are, this is what my backyard looks like with all the toys around. And I thought it was a perfect example for all of the colors that we see uh, for in our footage. So if we take one of these clips, let's walk through how we change a color. And it helps if it's a it's, if it's like a very specific bright color like this, it's going to take a little bit more uh, precise editing uh, to do something that has multiple colors or a range of hues. But this is a good example where we can pick just any of these colors. Let's just pick the blue over on this water table. With HSL secondary, go ahead and use your eyedropper and first just pick right there in the blue. If we turn on our preview option, we see that it does a decent job of selecting that color. And then we could change these sliders to include more, more of the different saturations, more of the uh, luminance. So picking, extending the luminance slider really does help get more of that color. We're not really picking that much more of a range although we can extend it. We are trying to get as much as possible and then maybe feather it out or just blend it a little bit more with these sliders and then blend it even more with a little bit of blur. So now if we turn this off, nothing has changed, but now we can go into our correction. Now this is gonna take a bit of tweaking and sometimes it just pl means playing around. The first thing you might try is just taking this overall color picker, drag it to the left or right. Say we wanna make this more of like an orange color. That's not doing much. We can then play around with this exposure slider and see if that does much, but it's not really doing anything there. So to get a little bit more precise, let's go into our three-way color picker. I've opened up my scopes and I see that a lot of this, this blue over here, it's the scopes over here and I'm guessing it's a lot of the shadows and midtones are going to be affected by this. So at first, if we bring our shadows up all the way to orange, we're not seeing much change. But if we start to bring up the exposure of our shadows, then we start to see sort of a difference. Let's take our midtones up as well change that exposure of those midtones, and then as well as our highlights. So we're getting a little bit closer. We are going to have to make some adjustments down here to add more color. So let's take the temperature slider, drag that all the way over to the right. And then from here, we can just continue to play. We don't wanna, sometimes you can get a little bit too overexposed. And so we might need to bring back some of that contrast with a slider down here or a combination of dropping down our shadows, maybe bring down our highlights, that seems to, to work better, and we'll bring up our shadows again. And now we got a pretty good color. Maybe we're trying to match this yellow, so let's play with our tint, see if we add a little bit of green to that, and that's looking pretty darn good. So what I would do is then go in here, and let's just zoom in. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see, we got the edge here that looks like it's glowing a little bit. So let's refine that a little bit. Let's see if extending the luminance just a little bit helps. Maybe even, let's see if we decrease, no, not decreasing blur, but maybe increase blur just a little bit. Now we start getting a glow effect. So now let's try saturation and hue. Just bring that out just a little bit. That's starting to look a little bit better. 
And now let's zoom to fit. It's starting to look a little bit normal, although now we start getting that leg in the background affecting, uh, being affected. So it's touch and go. You gotta play with it. You gotta see if how long your clip's gonna be. If it's a super short clip and you're just watching this on you know, a phone or on YouTube, it's gonna look fine. If you're playing this on the big screen, then maybe you gotta tweak it a little bit more, play around, you might end up having to do some of this in a more advanced program like After Effects. But still, what you can do in Premiere Pro is pretty dang powerful. So now you know how to use the HSL secondary panel to specifically change the color of something in your footage. Remember though, this is, uh, it, it works best if it's a single hue and it's not that complicated in terms of range or texture or pattern and things like that. But feel free to play around with this clip and send me what you got. Post it to Instagram, tag me at Phil Ebner. I would love to check it out and share it with my audience as well. Cheers, and we'll see you in another lesson.